As you may know that every month we, well, every month end rather, we invite our bookworm viewers to join us in studio for the book review slot. Our viewer book reviewer for the month of August is singer and songwriter Naledi Brown, who tweeted us a book she just finished reading, and that is by South African TV personality Bonnie Henna, titled Eye Bags and Dimples. Now, Naledi joins me now in studio for a quick chat about a read she says is one of her favorite books. A very good morning to you, Naledi, and welcome. Morning, morning, Simba. Thank you. You've just you. read, uh, you've just finished reading Eye Bags and dimples. Uh, do you want yes. to share with us how you found that book and uh, the, the brief outline of that book? Uh, I Bags and Dimples is a beautiful book by Bonnie and as you have said. Mm. It's a beautiful book to read but when you read it you must open up your listening ears, ears and okay. your listening heart because it talks to the heart. Uh, Bonnie Hena here is telling us about her journey with depression, mm -hmm. how she found out that she has depression without knowing so many for many years and thinking that people don't understand her until she found out that she didn't understand herself. So after she was then di diagno diagnosed with depression, it is then that she understood the problems that she went through. So this book is 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 it's honesty in itself. Mm -hmm. If you if if people say that you have reality shows on TV, this is our reality book by Bags and Dimples by Bonnie it is unfortunate that we don't talk much about depression and this issue has been thrust uh, in the spotlight just a few days ago. We've mm -hmm. seen so many incidences mm -hmm. of uh, depression mm -hmm. leading to fatalities. Uh, what is it that you learned about this book? I learned that um, most of the time we think that we are not okay because we choose not to be okay or because we are fussy. That's what Bonnie Hena wrote here about because some people did, did Felt, she thought that they didn't understand it because she had moods. Sometimes she would be nice, sometimes she would be moody until when she was diagnosed. So about this book, I've learned that people don't take things seriously and that we don't talk about these things because we see mental illness as a, as, as a, as a, as a, as a taboo or something that, is, that we cannot talk about. So she talks about it here because if you, have seen that, you have said that recently there have been a lot of incidents where now people are being vocal about depression and in our black communities unfortunately when you say you are depressed they think that you are being petty uh, mm. you, you are being petty what is depression you are being lazy you are being uh, you, you you don't want True. to do things you want things to be or done you want for attention. you and you want attention an attention seeker mm. so in this book they are, they are opening up our ears that people look out there is an illness that is called depression yeah. Mm -hmm. out, of, out of all the books that you've read, mm -hmm. why did you decide to go specifically for this one? Firstly, uh, I, I, the, title catch, the title catched me, okay. Eye Bags and Dimples, because we, we first, uh, most of the time, we get attracted to the title in a yes, book. Yes. Then we look at how it is designed and everything else. Then what attracted me more is that it was written by a South African, an actress that we know, a TV personality that we know. And then when I went through the summary reading out, what is this book about? And I then thought, oh, wow, I would like to know what is happening in, in the lives of other people that are in the limelight. And I like how Bonnie wrote the book. She was not fake about it. Yes. She told the story as it is. She takes you through her journey, Ebo Minbake, and the things that Tina will look like Uti, this one, uh, she's being too too fussy. Then was, she took us through Uti. No, it was only because she was going through some stuff. So when I read the book, it, I, I, I begs are always referred to exhaustion, and then dimples are always referred to beauty. So I wanted to see the beauty mixed with exhaustion, mm. tiredness, and mm. everything. Mm. What can one learn from it? And I learned a lot of beautiful things. That is so profound, Nadia. Yes. That is so profound. Yes, and, uh, yes. Hey, my daughter, depression mm. is real. Hey? It is real. It is real. And we have seen oh, Professor Wasayusiti, mm. Professor Mayoni, when he died. People were seeing this intelligent man, this man who is uh, practicing medicine, which is also seen as one of those uh, fields that are up there. You can never associate a person that intelligent with depression. But he went through it and even 
died through it depression. So we need to look at our children. When a child is, is, is complaining of, so let's try to find out what are the symptoms is, and then try to understand what a person goes through when they see those symptoms so that we don't think that they are just being lazy and that they seek attention because you will regret when a child dies and then you recognize that they were depressed but I didn't know. Wherever you go, what is that one thing that you got from this book that you want to share with the next person? Is that life is important. It is important that you go. Bonnie Hannah here is going through a journey. She is in a journey. It is important that you let yourself go into a journey. You make mistakes and you forgive and you live your life. Mm. life now that you've finished reading this book by yes, Bonnie, yes. Uh, what's your next read? Oh, now I'm re uh, one of my favorite authors is uh, Karen Kingsbury. She's a oh, okay. she's a good author. I I'm reading her right now. Okay. Uh, the the reunion. It she has a lot of, of beautiful books. I read. Um, I take a, a book in every two weeks from the library most of the time. Okay. Sometimes if I do buy a book like this one that I bought after when I finish it, I take it back to the library so that other people can also uh, go through it and, and 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 feel the excitement that I'm feeling with this. So. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading Karen Kingsbury right now. Look, man, now. we hope to see you soon, eh? Thank you so much. <laughs> we and really thank love you for your reviews, me. eh? Thanks. All right. Now, Lady Brown, uh, she's our uh, book reviewer for the month, and she was helping us unpack what she says is one of her favorite books, Eye Bags and Dimples by Bonnie Henna. Well, if you also want to be like my lady and join us in the studio for the uh, viewer book review feature, all you have to do is simply to email, Instagram, or tweet us a picture and the relevant caption of your pick of the week must read for 2018, your current read, and the one you're hoping was going to be great but turned out to be rather disappointing.